there. I don't suppose you could help me. Um, yeah, sure. What do you need? Heavy box. And my keys are stuck in my pocket. You want me to get your keys? <laughs> Funny. Just take the box a second. Oh, sure, sorry. This isn't heavy. My, how strong you are. You're a professional. No, I work in computers. Okay, I've got it. Thanks so much for your help. I really appreciate it. Oh, my pleasure. Catch you later, neighbor. Yeah, uh, maybe I'll see you around sometime. I'm sorry, you have the wrong number, but you sound hot. Hey, baby, what you looking at? I know how you got such a great body. You've been running through my mind all day. Hi, I'm Joe. I held your box today in the hall. Uh, you smiled at me, and you have pretty eyes, and you have a great smile, and your teeth are so shiny, and. Those boots, they're really working for you. And I, well, I just wanted to say hi and let you know that I think that you're the one. and that white stuff. Oh, okay, well, whatever you think would be nice for a pretty girl. You have beautiful eyes. Your friend in apartment 233. Well, there must be some mistake. Well, guess I haven't lost my touch yet. Dear neighbor, thank you for the beautiful flowers. Sincerely, your friend at apartment 232. God, are you kidding? She is definitely the one. <sighs> I'm so glad you liked my cookies. 
I slaved for you all day, my darling. Now, how about a glass of milk? Mm hmm. Chocolate chip are my favorite. Chocolates. I'll get her chocolates. And you can cook too. Yours truly in 233. Oh, she's good. Flowers and chocolate? What else does a girl need? I'll tell you what else a girl needs. Flowers and chocolate. We're just getting started. Cologne, because I love it. To match the color of your sparkling eyes. Oh, Grams, it's beautiful. Your bow has some taste. He even got the colors right. It matches my eyes, don't you think so? Oh, Han. Oh, oh. Gramps. I don't know what I'm going to do. It's just so final. He even asked for the ring back. Well, darling, it was obviously not meant to be. You need to find somebody really nice. Some guy that would treat you like a princess. Like your secret admirer. Exactly like my secret admirer. What do you think we should get him next? How about a romantic movie? Something like When Harry Met Sally or Casablanca. Oh, that's a wonderful idea. Casablanca is my favorite movie. I bet he would love it. Flowers can interpret the sound of your name. No prettier sound could be uttered. I long for the day when I can utter your name. Please do me the honor of meeting me. God, I'm in love with this woman and I don't even know her name. Please do me the honor of meeting me. It would be my pleasure to have you to dinner tonight at 8 o'clock, apartment 232. I'm sorry, I must have the wrong apartment. Well, uh, who are you looking for? A beautiful young woman inviting me here to dinner at 8 o'clock. Apartment 
2.32. Oh, you're the thoughtful gentleman with the flowers and everything. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed the gift. I'm Joe. Oh, I'm Cassie. You know what? Let's don't make this evening a dud. I've got dinner cooking for two. How would you like to come and join me? Sure, I think I'd like that. Uh, your cookies were delicious. I can only imagine how dinner is. Okay, great, come on in. Thank you. Mmm, I love red roses. And wine. Would you like a glass? Sure, that'd be great. This is her. I don't believe it. Next to you. This is the girl that I thought lived here. Oh, well, that's my granddaughter, Veronica. Veronica? What a perfect name. Well, it does suit her well. Tell me something else about her. Well, she's a lovely girl, and she's very cultured, and she's smart, she's energetic. And she takes good care of me, all right. She sounds perfect. <laughs> you have to meet her sometime. I would love the chance. <laughs> Say, I have an idea. Dinner won't be ready for a little while yet. Would you care to dance with me? Um, sure. <laughs> oh, great. Time. Well, I just love to dance. <laughs> this is so much fun. <laughs> oh, Veronica! Veronica, what are you doing here? I should ask you the same thing, Grant. I thought you invited me to dinner tonight. I did. I really did, and I want you to meet somebody. This is Joe. I remember you. You're that guy who helped me into the apartment. That's me. <laughs> He's also my secret admirer. This is really embarrassing. Uh, I'm gonna leave you two alone for the evening if you don't mind. No, no, I'm leaving. I'm the one who interrupted your evening. <laughs> I'm sorry, Joe. I don't mean to laugh. It's just, well, it's such a surprise. No one needs to leave because I invited you both here for a reason. You didn't know Joe was your secret admirer. I did certainly you? did. This is a joke. You knew it was me, but you played along anyways? Oh, relax, Joe. I, I just thought I could help. You seem like such a nice guy. I, I saw how you looked at my granddaughter, and I thought, she really needs someone to treat her well. Crabs. You're incorrigible. That's sweet. How did you know we even met? One day, I saw you in the hall. I saw the way you looked at her. And I thought, gee, this would be a, a great guy to, to go with my granddaughter. And so I thought I'd play along to get you two together. Well, Joe, it's nice to finally meet you. You sure have good taste. My grams love your gift. Uh, it's the CD I made for her, for, for you. It's nice. Go on, Joe. Go on. Um, Veronica, would you like to dance? I think I'd like that. Wandering and weary, standing on my own. You lift me on your shoulders, and I let go. Open hands, open eyes, I finally found my surprise with you. I have a place to belong As I have seen you in the laughter of my days In the silence of the night I hear the call of your song And deep in my heart you plan a love that surrounds